All right, so this is what the front garden looks like. You remember we planted it a few weeks ago and the daylilies are now blooming really beautifully. And here we have a first okra and then the second one that we repurposed from the little two containers that I have at the front. And I have like a simple asta planting. We have a bloom. And I had popped those very small begonias and they have grown really, really beautifully. Look at that. I do have a bit of slug damage on my ostas. You can see those little holes. So I'm going to bait. Look at that little salvia. Can you believe what it looked like just a few weeks ago? It was all eaten and smothered. And now we have beautiful purple spikes. And then over there, this is what our aster looks like. I think we're going to get some blooms a bit later in the autumn. And over here, the little hebe blooming beautifully. More begonias. And another look at those lilies. They look absolutely stunning. Look at those colors. This is looking really, really lush. Oh yeah. And over here, we have the little begonias that I planted in a short, growing on really well. Not far from blooms. The ones on the other side also are catching up. We can see also we have that itty bitty one here so I'm really glad all of them survived but I have a huge gap under my bow window you can see so I tried to pop those two baskets to hide it a bit I'm thinking we need some kind of container I would love a really big oval tub but I don't have it yet so in the meantime we need to find another solution so I think I'm going to use this pot. It's a really pretty pot. It's copper. It doesn't have a drainage hole, but I think that's okay because underneath the bow window, we don't have any moisture. I can manually control the amount of water I give the pot. So let's do this. I'm going to do this beautiful Asta elegance. I really love that bold blue foliage and I used a plant like this in the front bed. So I think that's going to be really pretty to repeat. This is going to be dead on center and then I'm going to use those really cute impatience so they don't look so hot now. You can see here maybe the small beginnings of a bloom. They've been in the litter can for too long and I haven't had a chance to plant them and I think I'm just going to dot them around the Asta. So the last time we fill in a little bit and of course I think I'm expecting those impatience hopefully to rebound a little bit and I've tried to tuck the plastic away as much as possible. I don't think I'm going to mulch this but you could mulch to try to hide it but I think as soon as the plants are going to bulk up a little we're not going to see it anymore. Just really love the look of that copper with the blue. I think it goes really well together. All right, well, it's not my dream vink bass, but I think it already goes a long way to fill a little bit the gap. I think what I may have to do is raise it a little bit and just so that it fills it a bit more of that middle area here. We have a little roof above our bow window and so I don't think a lot of water is going to arrive here so the cover should be fine. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll see you next time. Bye!